Hi folks, David Waring here again with InformTrades.com in today's lesson of the day. In our last lesson we looked at how traders close open positions using the market stop and limit order. In today's lesson we're going to continue our discussion on how to play stock trades with a look at an advanced order type known as the one cancels other order or OCO for short. So let's get started. As we discussed in our last lesson, stop and limit orders offer traders a convenient way to automatically close their positions when either their loss limit or profit target for a trade is hit. As we also discussed, however, placing standalone stop and limit orders can leave a trader exposed to one of the orders triggering a new trade if the other order rate is hit in the market. To combat this problem, the Thinkorswim and many other platforms offer what is known as a One Cancels Other Order, or OCO for short. The OCO order functionality allows traders to place both a stop and a limit order, which are tied to an open position, so that if either the stop order or the limit order price is hit, the open position will be closed by whichever order was activated by the market, and the opposing order will automatically be canceled by the platform. To gain a better understanding of this, let's log into our Thinkorswim paper trading accounts and place an OCO order. If you've not done so already, I encourage you to push the pause button and click the link above this video where you can register for a free Thinkorswim demo account so you can follow along as well. For this example, I'm going to use the same SPY position that we just placed in our last lesson, the standalone stop and limit orders on. So the first thing that I'm going to want to do is cancel the existing orders. And how I would do this on the trade tab where it's where the order book is, and you may show up like this. You just click the little two arrows down here to get the order book to come up. Uh, I want to change the drop down menu here beside where it says uh, order book from showing all orders to just working orders okay and once I do this we'll see the uh, stop uh, order at 110 and the limit order, or sorry the, the stop order at 100 and the limit order at 110 that I placed in my last lesson on the SPY position and both of those are showing as working so I'm going to want to go ahead and cancel those orders how I would do this is right click on the order and then simply click cancel order do that for both orders and now both the stop and the limit order which I placed in the last lesson are, have now been canceled I wanted to cancel those so I could set those up instead of standalone stop and limit orders like we did in our last lesson I want to set those up those same two orders up as OCO orders or one cancels others so how I would do this is I would start out the same way by clicking the blue dot beside the uh, SPY and then selecting close and then what I want to do first is set my stop and that's going to be set at 100 just like we did last time and I want that to be a good tail canceled order okay and then once I've done that in the line where it says advanced order I want to change that from single order to OCO okay and once I've done that I want to right click on the existing stop order that I've just created and then select create duplicate order okay and this will bring up uh, an exact order to sell again here 200 shares of the SPY at 100 okay but this time I want to make the other side of the order which I want to be a limit order and I want to change the rate here to 110 just as we did last time okay and you can see there that it's already set to good tail cancel so now I have two orders set up uh, the sell at 100 if the market trades uh, down to 100 I have a stop order there 
and the sell at 110 if the market trades up to 110 so I can take my profit there with a limit order and these have been set up as an OCO order as you can see here I've changed that to OCO in the drop down menu beside the advance order and once I have that set up I can hit the confirm and send button and then send and then you will see that those two orders are working just as they were last time but the difference here is that since they are OCO orders as you can see here in the order window it says OCO beside each one uh, if uh, if the uh, market trades up to 110 then I'll be taken out of my long position in F SPY at 110 um, or better on the limit and if the market tr and if that happens then my stop order at 100 will be automatically canceled and similarly if the market trades down to 100 first then I'll have a market order uh, execute uh, based on the stop order that I've placed at 100 and the limit that I have at 110 will automatically be canceled another way you can tell that these orders are together is by the order number which is the same for each order in addition to placing a stop and limit which are over OCO on a position that is already existing you can also do this when opening a trade so if you go to the trade tab and let's say uh, we want to buy 100 shares of Walmart then I would click on the ask but this time instead of left clicking I'm going to right click with my mouse which is going to bring up a uh, drop down menu where I can select buy custom and then that will bring up another menu where I can select with OCO bracket and what that's going to do is populate the order window with my order to open the position okay and then also with my stop and limit order uh, pre-populated um, and where I can change the market price there so let's say that uh, if the market trades up uh, by two dollars then I want to be <clears throat> so let's say that if the market trades up by two dollars then I want to be taken out of the trade uh, at a profit and if the market trades down by one dollar then I want to be taken out of the trade at a loss okay I'm gonna change the opening order to a market order because I want to be executed at the market and then I'm gonna change the rules for the stop and limit to good tail canceled okay and you can see here the advanced order already uh, is set to first triggers OCO so that means once my long position in Walmart is executed then it will trigger the OCO orders which will automatically uh, be working uh, along with the trade and will sit there until they're either canceled or until one side of the market hits the order prices there so once I'm comfortable with the order I'm gonna hit confirm and send and then send and you will see the uh, two uh, working orders the the stop and the limit uh, along with the uh, the position that has just been opened which is now going to show up in my account tab that's our lesson for today and our next lesson we'll look at the last major type of order that traders use which is referred to as a trailing stop so I hope to see you in that lesson as always if there are any questions or comments please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and good luck with your trading Thank you.